Okay, today we've got a hard drive that customers brought in. It's an old IDE hard drive for taking it out of its enclosure. It doesn't spin up, there's no data access. Um, we just take it out of the enclosure to make it easier to diagnose straight away rather than try and put it in. Uh, this is actually one of my test IDE controller boards, which is why it doesn't have a lot of cables dangling off it. And what have we got? That's a 320 gigs. So it's a pretty old machine, it's been sitting around. Hopefully we can find out why it's not spinning up. Hopefully it's not a stuffed head or actuator or even uh, bearings frozen. Uh, so anyway, plug it in, let's see what we can find. Yeah, I'm blinking red. That shouldn't be happening. Should just either be off or whatever. Chips uh, aren't getting hot. Oh, wait, wait, ah, yes, okay, that's getting hot. All right. What we've most likely got here is a transient voltage suppressor diode that's blown through. It's a pretty common bolt on these units. Either they just fail for whatever reason, or maybe they've had a high voltage come through and take them out. Sometimes it can happen if uh, cheap power bricks being used and excessive torque volts has gone through. They're kind of like a fuse, except they more crowbar the, the voltage rails rather than go open circuit. So what we'll do is get rid of this chap here, which is the one that burnt me, and hopefully it should spin up. The nice thing is we can actually just remove this and we don't even have to replace it for the sake of getting the data off as long as we make sure our power supply doesn't give any more voltage surges. Um, right, okay, get to taking this off and hopefully we'll be good. Uh, let's see, get the multimeter out of the way, turn on the hot air, which would happen if I had it plugged in. Let's try the hot air again. That's better. Unfortunately, I still haven't worked out how to stop my flickering of my lights, so I'm just going to have to put up a bit of a glitchy lighting. Yeah, let's put it up to. Put up to 450 volts. <laughs> Not 450 volts. 250 degrees centigrade. Uh, 450 and a little about 75 should do it. Better put on the fuel extractor. Uh, nice and dry. Uh, Alright, I've got the temperature already. Probably should have checked for a short before I even got started. That, that's laziness for you. Uh, I don't see that. Probably not. You just have to trust me. <laughs> that's a jump short. Alright. Oh well, open circuit. That's good. Uh, I'm just 
Gotta plug the power brick back in for the hard drive adapter. Everything to get a bit of power points around here. Let's see. And I can feel the hard drive spinning up, so it's good. All right, we'll plug this into the computer system, the recovery server, and hopefully we'll have some success. <laughs>